I went on Tams and Tabor's Instagram. I know she posted a new picture and this is what Morgs commented. So after all this, it looks like to me that Morgs has a new girlfriend. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Diamond Steph and you guys, it's December, which means it's Christmas season, it's festive season. You know, I'm trying to get festive for the holidays. I got a little cutout of Grinch here. I got a little Christmas tree up there. I'm just trying to get a little festive for the holidays. So my last video on Morgs, we took a look at the breakup between him and Kira Bridget and the possibility that Kira and Infinite List are dating. But I mean, as of now, let's be real, it's pretty obvious that Kira and Infinite List are actually dating. But that's for another video because in today's video, what we're gonna be doing is taking a look at Morgs' new girlfriend, Tamsin Tabor. I mean, what can I say? She's cute, like good on you, Morgs, really. But for Tamsin, on the other hand, all I can say is that if she's ready for a relationship where he will set her hair on fire, fart in her face, stalk her in her bedroom without her knowing, stalk her in the forest, and pretend to cheat on her with his, um, stepdad. Look, it's another girl! Look! Ah! And it was your fault! You're not convincing enough! Well then, have fun. So guys, for today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Morgz's handcuffing myself to a stranger for 24 hours challenge. I think the real challenge in this video is not getting the cops called on you for being a flat out creep. Like, come on. Tell me after watching the first eight seconds of the video that he doesn't sound like a pervert. Today, I am gonna be handcuffing myself to a complete stranger for 24 hours. But guys, just before we get into this video, leave a like in the next five seconds or else you will be Morgz's next victim and handcuffed to him for the rest of your life. So without further ado, as always, let's roll the clip. Today, I am going to be handcuffing myself to a complete stranger for 24 hours. We've just arrived at the park and now it's time to go and find my new friend for the day. You know, I'm actually convinced that Morgz is not human. Like, does this man ever blink? Have you guys ever seen a goldfish with really big eyes? I mean, those things are cute for sea creatures. But Morgz is an 18 year old kid from little Sheffield, England, not a goddamn aquarium. His eyes are so wide open that I'm genuinely concerned that one day those things are gonna pop right out. Yo guys, what about her? She'd be perfect. Morgan, you can't choose her. She's about 80. She's struggling to walk. Yeah, like that doesn't sound creepy at all. They're literally in a forest, hunting down women as they stroll along the path. And to make things even worse, look how happy Morgz is when he sees that elderly woman all by herself. And on top of all this, it's funny how Buddy filming the video was trying to condemn the whole situation by saying it's not okay because the woman is 80 years old. She's about 80. <laughs> no, no. Even if she was 18 years old and the exact same age as Morgz, it wouldn't make it any more okay that you're literally hunting down vulnerable women in the forest to handcuff yourself to for 24 hours. Oh, what about these guys? They look perfect. Morgan, you know you can't be with two people at once, right? Why? It wouldn't be the first time. Oh my God. Okay, okay, Morgan, okay. Is that the reason why Kira dumped you for infinite lists? Is it because you were underperforming in the bed? Oh! You know, I find it funny how Morris is treating this video like a some sort of science experiment. This man is in a forest hunting down isolated woman. Like this is literally any horror movie ever. What about her over there, Morgan? She looks perfect. Well guys, I think we found the perfect stranger. And now I best start thinking of my best chat of line. Yo, god damn. Did you, did you guys see the speed on that guy? This guy knows what's going down. He's not trying to have any of it. All right, yo, on a real note though, is it just me or does Morris kind of look like that one guy from The Shining? Here's Johnny. Looking ass. Oh, hey. Okay, yeah, I, okay, I, I'm not gonna lie. I actually love the way that she responded there. All right, but ladies, on a real note though, wouldn't y'all find it kind of disturbing if some random dude walked up to you at the park with those creepy eyes, sat next to you with that weird looking grin and then stared into your soul saying, What's your name? Just imagine if Morgz is still making videos like this in his 70s. Oh, hey. 
What's your name? What's your name? Tamsin. What's yours? My friends call me a uh, doctor. Doctor? Ah! Yeah, yeah, okay. Now I am actually convinced that this kid is trying to abduct her. What brings you to the park today on this beautiful sunny day? No, I'm supposed to be with my friend, to be honest. She should be here any minute. Oh, well, I'm here now, so it's okay. No, I'm supposed to be meeting my friend. Like, yeah, but it's okay. You've got new plans I now. I don't know you, so... Oh, uh, okay. This dude has seriously learned nothing from his previous relationships. Like, trust me, I'm no expert when it comes to picking up girls, but I know for a fact that that's no good way to be picking up a girl. Like, no joke, this is so cringy that I'm literally getting goosebumps on my arms as we speak. So, Tamsin. <sighs> Are you single? To be honest, it's not really any of your business, but... Oh! Oh, shit! Oh, damn, just a little bit of sass in that response. I, I like it, I like it. So, Tanzan, what does your friend look like? I mean, she's got long brown hair. Oh, long brown hair. I can see someone with long brown hair down there, do you see? No, it's just behind that tree. Keep looking, you'll see her. No, no, it's not. Do you see, no. all the way down there by that person. See the old guy? Yeah. Oh my God. How, how is this on YouTube? Entertainment is one thing, comedy is another, but this, this isn't it, Chief. Trust me, I get it. This video is supposed to be entertainment and all, but this guy is literally promoting predator behavior online. Like, just explain to me right now how handcuffing yourself to a stranger when they're not looking is funny. It's not, it's, it's, it's not funny at all. Honestly though, like, what the fuck am I watching right now? What are you doing? Can you put the key in and get this off? Surprise! Peace, peace, peace. Oh my God. This is, this, this is actually making me really uncomfortable right now. Like, trust me, I get it. She's probably in on the video, but I feel like she's also a little creeped out with what he's trying to do to her. Get this off. You literally have five seconds to un get the key out and take this off of me, bro, to the police. Okay, okay, calm down. No, 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 calm down, calm down. Take it off. I've got an explanation. Listen, listen, listen. To be honest, I don't have, I don't have any friends, so you see. I'm ugly. Ugly? No comment. Get it off. Okay, Tamsin, I didn't want to have to do this, but I guess you've left me with no other choice. I'll give you 500 pounds. What? This is literally... This is so messed up. Like, jokes aside right now, as an entertainer on YouTube, I am actually kind of pissed off right now because Morris is literally making it look like to his 10 year old fan base that handcuffing yourself to a random stranger, kidnapping a girl and paying her to do whatever you want is okay. Because this is no surprise, but no, it's it's not. And it's it's kind of illegal as well. And also the issue with this, and I just think it's a bad job on his part, is that I was looking at the comments and a lot of his viewers are, you know, little kids. And a lot of them think that this is real. They don't know that it's scripted. And a lot of them are beginning to turn on Morg. He's a perv. This guy's creepy. Kidnapping a damn girl. Morgan is such a pervert. All right, so enough of me ranting. I'm gonna transition the video a bit. I'm gonna skip to the part where he takes her over to his house. And uh, this is bathroom 57. <laughs> Y'all smell that? Yeah, I smell cap. Maybe you take it to the bedrooms instead? No! Oh, 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 wait. One more thing before you go. No! Yo, okay, no, no, not, not happening. This is not happening right now. This video went from creepy PG vibe to perverted rated R vibe real quick. This, this isn't funny. No, what are you doing? Stop. This is just scary. Like imagine Tamsin goes home after the video is done and then her parents ask her what she's been up to all day long. Tamsin, it is way past your curfew. Where have you been? Oh, you know, some random guy in the forest handcuffed me to himself and I was forced to watch him take a piss. What? What the fuck? Oh my god. Let's just hope that for Morgz's sake, this girl's dad isn't someone like Conor McGregor or else, well, he's in some serious trouble. Uh, what? Ooh, that's nice. The actual. Uh, yeah. Almost done now. Shouldn't be too much longer. If forcing someone to watch you take a piss wasn't creepy enough, now, now this guy's making weird moaning sounds. Like, uh, what am I watching? I feel like I'm literally watching the British version of Fifty Shades of Grey right now. To be honest, I don't know what's more disturbing: this guy moaning while he's taking a piss or his parents being okay standing there filming 
This entire thing. Can't take this anymore. Come on, no, come on, no, no, come no, on. No, oh, no, no, oh my God. <laughs> what? What is going on? Someone explain to me why this guy has a giant string of toilet paper hanging down his legs. No! Oh, no! You know, I, I don't know if y'all know this, but guys don't use toilet paper when they take a piss. I mean, only sometimes when they miss the seats. I, I'm not saying I do, but like, I, I'm, just, I'm just putting it out there. I need to film a TikTok. Ladies and gentlemen, first world issue. A girl cannot biologically survive unless she makes a TikTok. Yo, seriously though, did you guys see how fast her neck turned? I need to film a TikTok. Like, I, I swear I heard a crap. Ready? Let's do it. I, I have never been more confused as to what is going on until now. I'm no dance for myself, don't get me wrong. My dancing is atrocious, it is terrible. And what is, what is that face? But more importantly, what is that? So I'm kind of just realizing this now, but doesn't Morgs kind of look like the British version of Gibby from iCarly? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty much the end of that video. I mean, there, t there technically is another 10 minutes left, so I'm just gonna summarize what happens next. So the two go up for some groceries and more to just acting like a complete idiot. He hits the post, grabs some beans, hits the shelf, drops the cereal, hits the sign. I mean, do I, I need to go on? I think you guys get the point. Anyway, so moving on, he uh, beats her cake. No, 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 like literally, he actually beats her cake. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. What in fuck's name are you doing? And after he's done beating her cake, takes her on a date. I've been waiting the entire day for this. <laughs> but I mean, if there's one thing I learned in life, it's supposed to be the other way around. You know, never, never mind, never mind. For, forget it, forget that. So after I was done watching that video, I decided to hop on a Twitter and go to Kira Bridges' profile. And it turns out that after watching that video, it's She's a tad mad and maybe even a bit jealous as well. So around the same time that the video was uploaded, she made a tweet saying, in case you're having a terrible day and want to die, here's a thread of some top tier TikToks. Now, since she made that tweet just after Morgz released his video with that girl, I mean, hey, uh, to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if Kira is, you know, a little bit jealous or a little bit mad that Morgz has finally moved on, has finally found a new girl. And on top of all this, just before I started recording this video, I went on Tams and Tabor's Instagram. I noticed she posted a new picture and this is what Morgz commented. So after all this, it looks like to me that Morgz has a new girlfriend. And you know, I'm really interested to see how this whole thing is gonna be playing out. Maybe some beef is gonna come out. Maybe Kira's gonna do some exposing on Morgz because we really don't know why the two broke up. All right, y'all, so my uh, cam... Oh, wait, man, let me get the good lighting. All right, yo, sorry about that random cut. My camera kind of ran out of storage. And uh, yeah, so anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I really, really enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to go follow my social media. My Instagram is Ivan Steph Official. My Twitter is Ivan Steph and my Snapchat is Shock underscore U09. If you didn't catch that, it's gonna be in the description box below. I'll probably also leave a pinned comment. So yeah, go make sure to go follow me on my social media. And anyway, guys, until next time, it's been Ivan Steph. Peace. Yeah, I'm a rich